the runaway train. Once upon a time, there was a little kingdom in a far off place. Although the people in the kingdom were ruled by a kindly king, the kingdom was mountainous and barren, and many of the folk were very poor. Each month, there was a market. Market day was a very important day for all the villagers in the kingdom, just as it is for folk everywhere. The market was held in a big, broad valley nestling among the snowy peaks, and people made their way to it from far and wide to sell their crops or to buy new clothes or things for their homes. People living up in the mountains would take the mountain pass and walk down into the valley. Those living a little further down the mountain would saddle up their donkeys and mules and ride to the market. But for people living on the other side of the mountains, the best way to get to the market was to take the old steam train. The train ran from one side of the mountain and all the way up to the top, and then down into the valley. One day, a poor farmer who lived on the side of the mountains woke up and went to harvest the crops on his small farm. But the crop was poor. There was barely enough food to make a meal for his family and himself. The poor farmer wondered what he could sell at the market, in order that his family and himself might have enough food to eat. He had no crops to sell, and he had already sold almost everything else he could spare. The only thing he had left to sell was his cockatoo. The thought of selling his cockatoo filled him with great sadness. The cockatoo was a fine-looking bird with colorful ivory, red and yellow feathers. Not only was it fine-looking, but it was thought by everyone to be a very clever bird, too. It seemed to understand whatever you said, and was a great favorite with all the fa family. The farmer looked at his hungry family and then, he looked at the cockatoo. The cockatoo looked back at the farmer as if it understood what the farmer was thinking. I must sell the cockatoo at the market, said the farmer finally. We have no crops to eat and we must buy food. There is nothing else we can sell to the money we need. On the very next market day, the farmer climbed aboard the train for its journey up the mountains and down into the valley to the market. In his hand, he held a metal cage, and sitting in the cage, looking very sad, was his beloved cockatoo. The old train collected more people from the villages and then began its long, steep journey up the mountains. It chuffed and puffed, and puffed and chuffed, but then suddenly with a bang, a clang and a groan, it came to a halt. The boiler on the old train had exploded. Then, slowly, the train started to roll back down the mountain slope. The driver tried the brakes, but it was no use, the old train just carried on rolling backwards, gathering speed all the time. Everyone on board was very frightened, for there was nothing to stop the train hurtling all the way down the track and overturning at the bottom of the mountains. Suddenly, the farmer had an idea. He lifted the cockatoo's cage close to his head and spoke to the cockatoo. Fly down the mountain, as fast as you can, and raise the alarm he said. But he opened the cockatoo's cage and released the bird. Down the mountain, the cockatoo flew as fast as its wings could take it. Straight to the railroad station it went, and landed on the steps of the station master's office. Hello, what are you doing here? said the station master. For he recognized the cockatoo by its bright, colorful feathers. The cockatoo flew into the air and hovered in front of the station master, then it flew out of his office. Then it flew back into the office, flapped its wings in front of the station master and flew out again. Well, I do believe you want me to follow you, said the station master. So he went outside. Suddenly something made the station master look up towards the mountain, and he saw the runaway train. Quick! He called to his station guards. Bring some sound and follow me. The station master and the guards quickly loaded sacks of sand. Then they threw it onto the track. Backwards and forwards they went with their sacks of sand, until a great, great mound of sand lay across the track, right in the path of the runaway train. Just then, the runaway train came into sight, clanking and rumbling helplessly down the track. Then it hit the heap of sand on the track and, amid more rumbling and grinding, it came to a safe halt. Shaken, but safe, the passengers climbed out of the carriages, the station master explained what had happened and how the cockatoo had helped stop the runway train. How could I ever have thought of selling you, my friend, said the farmer to his cockatoo. From now on, we will always keep you safely.
All the villagers were so grateful to the farmer and his cockatoo, that they all gave some of their crops to help feed the farmer and his family until his own crops grew again.